Hi, my name is Michael and I'm a welding specialist at Megatronic. Today I'm going to talk about our function as we call uh, sequence repeat. I'm going to talk about how it works and what segments you can use it in and uh, where it can be used. And then afterwards we're going in the workshop and see how it actually works. Do you weld with solid wires or metal flux core wires in your company? And do you have a lot of positioning welding, such as the position as we call PF, vertical up position, or complex welds? Then you might experience in these positions or complex welds that you get a lot of post-treatment because it's quite difficult to weld with these types of wires. Because maybe you experience that you have a bad transition or poor transition to the base material. I will now describe how our function sequence repeat works. It consists of two sequences. So that means, first of all, you have to set your amperage in one sequence. You have to find a time for the first sequence. And then after that, you have to do the second sequence, find your amps, and then of course the time. Normally the time means that you have to be above 0.1 second and less than one second normally in both sequences. So that means you can create your own arc for a specific job and then it switches very fast if that's what you want or slow if that's needed. That was a little bit about the theory behind our sequence repeat. Let's go out in the workshop and try it out. Welcome to our workshop. I will now demonstrate and show you how easy it is to set up the machine for a sequence repeat. One of the hardest thing welding MIG-MAC process is when we talk about positioning welding. We have a solid wire, we have to go down to up, that means PF position or PD overhead position, it is that we have a solid wire that we have to melt. That requires some voltage and some amperage. So that means in order to get this fluidity in the melt pool, that means we have to make specific movements and they have to be precise at all times. If we're not doing that, we get a very, very huge, excessive fillet weld. So that means the looks of it doesn't look good and the penetration into the material will be very, very poor. With the sequence repeat, we have the opportunity to manipulate with our current and the voltage. We have two sequences, so that means we can get a penetration with high amps at the first sequence and then lower the current with the sequence number two. So that means we are able to control our weld seam and the heat into the material. So we just have to find the right angle and then we just have to have a constant speed. If you have complex uh, welds and positioning welding specific and weld in the position PF, we know for sure that it requires very skilled welders. In this case, the welders don't have to have the same skills because the machine and scenes repeat, they do it for you. In this case, I'm going to weld a stainless steel in overhead position or PD if you like. But let me show you how easy it is to set it up on the machine. So how to find our sequence repeat? First, you go into our menu and then we find process setup. We find our sequences. If you press and then we have two options. This is the one you need in order to get our sequence repeat. Press it and then it just says if you want to enable it, accept it. And the menu you come into is where you have to find the times. This is where you have to find how much energy and for the time 0.2 seconds. That means you get a penetration into the material. And in this case, 0.2, I think it's okay. If you press on number two sequence, in this case, I'm going to weld PD. So that means I have to have a time that's a little bit longer than the first sequence. So 0.5, I will try it and accept it. And then you come into the main menu and then you can see we have two sequences up here. Press on this one, so make sure you are in the number one sequence. Then you have to find out how much energy do you want to provide the material with. In this case, I want some energy, that means the amps, 200 amps, and remember, for 0.2 seconds. I have a little plus on our voltage, so I don't get any spatter. 
I don't want any spatter in stainless steel. So that's okay. Number two, I have to lower my amps in order not to give too much heat into the material. So I choose 70 amps and again a little bit plus on my voltage. Press one and then you go down into this where you can set four stroke. So it goes into a loop. So every time you start to weld, it just switches between the first and the second sequence. The whole idea with sequence repeat is that you can create your own arc. When I have to weld my PD position, the point is to find out I want some energy into the material, depending on the thickness of the material, of course. Find the level you need. On number two, when positioning welding, you have to have a cooling period over a certain period of time. Now the machine is set up for welding PD positioning, so I'll just show you how easy it is to weld. You can make complex welds more easy if you find the right values on the machine. You have less post-treatment and if you are welding in position PF or PD as this in this case, you can have a very, very nice, smooth, very good transition to the base material with this kind of sequence. So where can we use our sequence repeat? You can use it in any segments or industries. You can use it metal flux core wires or solid wires. You can do it for fillet wells, butt wells in all position. You can have, or if you have complex wells, you can also find the right settings for that. So to summarize our sequence repeat, it can be used for solid wires, metal flux core wires, all materials, automated solutions, and it's easy to set up on the machine and you can invent your own arc. So that was Sequence Repeat. Thank you for watching.